Hi everyone, I'm Marianne, your English teacher, and in case you're new here, welcome to my English space. I'd be so happy to have you around until the very end. So, if you haven't seen any of my videos so far, I hope I'll be convincing you this time to join me on my English journey. And why not hit the subscribe button down below, also the notification bell icon so that you will be notified each time a new video comes up. Thanks a lot for watching and please make yourself comfortable. Now, let's get going. Today, we will talk about A, N, some and any. These little words, A, N, some and any are very important words used in conversation and they are referring to nouns. They give us essential information about the number of people or things that we're talking about. Here's the difference. A and N describe only one item, be that a person, a thing or an animal while some and any refer to an unspecified number of people or things or an amount of something. An amount is a quantity when that number is not specified. A and N are the indefinite articles and are used with singular countable nouns. They refer to only one thing or person. Some and any are used with plural and uncountable nouns and are used when the exact number is not known. Here are some examples. 1. A monkey is a funny animal. 2. He wants to become an artist. 3. I need some shoes. 4. Can I have some water, please? 5. Would you like some lemonade? 6. There isn't any bread left. 7. Do you need any help? Now, let's talk about how to use A and N and some and any. We use A and N with singular countable nouns. For example, a monkey. We use a with most words because most words begin with a consonant sound, meaning all monkeys, that is, all things belonging to a category. An artist. An being used with words beginning with a vowel sound. And it refers to the job of an artist in general. Examples. A monkey is fun to watch. I want to become an artist. Let's take some more examples. A doctor, a book, a jumper. An eye, an orange, an ice cream. Exceptions to this rule are an hour, you know, the time, so an before a silent H, an H that is not pronounced, and a university. I know it's weird, but to use a before a U, just like in U. Check this one instead. An umbrella. Yes, I know. Here we use un before you because you in umbrella is pronounced like a vowel sound. So, uh, uh, umbrella, an umbrella. So, we can join the two words here and they can be pronounced together. An umbrella. Well done. Next, we have some and any. In my examples in the beginning, some and any were used in sentences 3 to 7. So, I also said that with some and any, we don't have an exact number in mind. We refer to a certain quantity, but we don't know the number exactly. Let's take sentences 3 
6 and 7 and notice the difference between them. I need some shoes. There isn't any bread left. Do you need any help? So, we've noticed that we use some with plural and uncountable nouns like in some shoes or some water. Water cannot be counted, right? In positive sentences, I need some shoes. Any is also used with plural and uncountable nouns, but in negative and interrogative sentences, like in, there isn't any bread left. This is a negative sentence, right? And, do you need any help? This is a question, so an interrogative sentence. Still, there are some exceptions related to the use of some. It can be used in questions as well, but only when making an offer or a request. And this is illustrated in examples 4 and 5. Can I have some water, please? This is a request, right? And would you like some lemonade? This is an offer, so I'm offering you some lemonade. Hopefully, you've learned this well. Are you ready for some practice now? Let's go! Fill in the gaps with the correct word. A, N, some, or any. 1. She has egg for breakfast. 1, 2, 3. Ready? An is the correct variant. She has an egg for breakfast. There is milk left in the fridge. Ready? Okay, so it's some milk. There is some milk left in the fridge. Are there mistakes in my exercise? One, two, three. Any. Are there any mistakes in my exercise? Yeah, that's the correct variant. Any because it's a question. So we use any in questions unless we're talking about a request or an offer. Well done. Can I get you tea? Are you ready? The variant is some. Can I get you some tea? Remember that it's an offer. Can I get you some tea? I can't buy this book now. I don't have money on me. One, two, Three, any is the variant. I don't have any money on me. Good, well done. If you've stayed with me so far and got the short test correct, then good for you. I'm so glad I could help you with these little words. Be happy yourself, you deserve it. Want some space for your English? Here's my offer. Come back next time, bring a friend along. A big hug. See you next time. Bye for now.